Hi, welcome back to Creek Bend and Bloom. I'm Pam Bonin and I'm here with Bernie Parker, our vineyard manager. And Creek Bend has actually bloomed. We are, it's a beautiful it spring, April day. And mm -hmm. Bernie, uh, where, where are we? What, which, uh, which grapevine is this that has just gone through bud break? We're in the Catawba field and uh, the Catawba and the Marsh Elf Oche are two of the first ones to uh, actually break their uh, buds. And this one is about uh, 11 days into uh, bud break. So it uh, broke uh, about the 10th of March, or April. And uh, it's actually uh, coming along really nicely. Though uh, the temperatures last night uh, gave us quite a scare. It uh, dropped down and uh, we had to come out here and uh, actually turn on our fans for the first uh, first time this year. So you actually came out here this morning. What time did you What time did you get here? I got here about three thirty. The uh, we've got our alarm set for the uh, uh, fans at about thirty five degrees. So as soon as it drops below that, it wakes me up, nice. and uh, I drive on in here and uh, That's good. wait until the temperatures get down to that freezing point, which uh, the critical temperature is about 32 degrees right now with this uh, plants at this stage of their uh, bloom. Well, since the marketing team had no desire to be here at 3 a.m. this morning. It's true. <laughs> will you turn on the fans for us sure, today? Sure, I can do that. In celebration of yeah. spring and even though we didn't really want to use the fans. No, that's the last thing we want to do is use the fans. Yeah, but uh, that'll be great if you could turn them on for sure. us. Sure. Cool. So tell me how the fans work uh, and why it's so important that we picked out you know this type of fan for for the vineyard. Well, they're the fans are uh, frost fans and they are made by Orchard Right. And what they do is they take warmer air from up above and push it around in the vineyard. So when the uh, the night is really still and there's no uh, breezes or anything to push the air around, we make that breeze and it actually warms up the uh, ground level up three to five degrees. And uh, we saw that uh, this morning and uh, the other day when I tested them out, uh, it actually went up about five degrees. Wow, because one of the challenges of grape growing in Indiana is the chance for late frost. Right. So this has been a, a great thing for us. Um, and this is the first time you've had to turn them on? This is the first time this season that we've had to turn them on. Uh, yeah, you're right about the spring frost. We uh, probably out of the last 10 years that I've been here, we've had some type of injury due to spring frost six times out of the last 10 Not years. Not injury to you, injury to the grapes, Injury right? to the grapes. <laughs> spring frost injury, yes. Um, last year in particular, it was, a, it was a tricky year for us. We lost quite a bit of the Catawba fruit. So it's great to see that the Catawba has uh, gone through bud break and... Yes, and hopefully we won't get another one. We're looking at 80 degree temperatures next week and uh, hopefully we've seen the last of 32 for uh, a good nine months. The unpredictable Indiana weather is mm -hmm. great. Yes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks, yep. Bernie. You're All welcome. right, we'll be back.